Hi everybody, welcome to the best of CAT series from IMS and let's start with geometry this time. Let's have a look at the first question. The first question talks about this, they told us in a circle of radius 11, CD is the diameter. So, radius is 11, so diameter is 22 and the chord AB of length 20.5, haven't told where the chord is, the chord could be parallel to the diameter, it could be perpendicular to the diameter or it could just be intersecting regularly. Well, they have said intersecting, so at least it is not parallel, but still we don't know whether it is perpendicular or not. A, B and C, D intersect at point E inside the circle and C, E has length 7. Then find the difference between B, E and A, E. Let us have a look at the diagram now. Now, this is my diameter. I can see the diameter C, D over here and this is the chord we have created A, B. Now, understand over here E, uh, AB could not be perpendicular to CD. Why? Because if it was perpendicular, AE and EB would have been equal lengths and their difference would have been 0. The options do not state that. So, this is a diagram. Let us continue with what all do we know? What values do we know? We know that the radius was 11. Fair enough. Just leave that as it is. So, uh, diameter is 22. So, CD is 22. And I know CE is 7. So, if I take this as 7, 22 minus 7, DE will become 15. And I know full AB and I want to find the difference between BE and AE. Let us think a little bit how do we do it. Now geometry you know is all about properties, knowing your properties well. If you do not know your property well, very frankly this sum would be literally impossible. Let us think what property are you using. We are using the property when chords intersect internally. When chords intersect internally the property is AE into BE will be equal to CE into DE, chords intersecting internally, right? That is the property. So, we do not know AE and BE both. You could have taken one of them as X and the other as 20.5 minus X, something like that. But that is okay. Let us just leave it as it is now, for now. So, AE into BE is equal to CE into DE, that is 7 into 15. That is 105. So, I know the product of AE and BE is 105 and I also know their sum because I know the full AB is 20.5. So, I also know AE plus BE is how much? 20.5. At this stage, you have a lot of different options of doing this calculation. You could just think of two numbers whose product is 105 and their sum is 20.5. It was a very, very easy, uh, the numbers were very easy to get. If you would not get or you could not get it, you could have done quadratic equation, you could have substituted AE in terms of BE and made a quadratic equation or you could have used complete algebra. So, if you take one of them as X and the other as Y, so you know XY is 105 and you know X plus Y is 20.5, right? And you want to find X minus Y. So, you could use the algebra formulas. What will be X minus Y the whole square? x minus y the whole square will be x plus y the whole square minus 4xy. Well, I am not using this. I have just given it to you as an option. You could have used this because for me, getting two numbers whose product is 105 and sum is 20.5 were very, very simple. The numbers were 10.5 and 10. 10.5 and 10 were the two numbers orally without or just a little bit contemplation here and there. So, 10.5 and 10 were the two numbers. We wanted to find the difference between the two numbers and hence the answer was 0.5, first option. As usual, do not forget to solve the replica question and give your answers in the comment box.